this is Preeti from Analytics India Magazine and today's episode is a weekly update from the world of data science. Everything from new launches, latest research, cyber threats and events that have happened in the past 7 days will be covered here. So let's get started. In the first news, let's talk about the release of Python 3.9. Python announced new features as part of their 3.9 in beta version. Let's take a look at a few highlights. Firstly, merging gets better. The current ways to merge two dicts in Python have several disadvantages. Now in 3.9, merge and update operators have been added to the built-in dict class. The next feature is the new string methods. str.remove prefix and str.remove suffix have been added to easily remove an unneeded prefix or suffix from a string. The next highlight is that the built-in gets generic. Static typing was built incrementally on top of the existing Python runtime and constrained by existing syntax and runtime behavior. This led to the existence of a duplicated collection. The new release enables support for the generic syntax in all standard collections currently available in the typing mode. Some other highlights are brand new modules and dropped items. I'll drop the link to the article in the description box below for more information. Moving on. Buildout raises $16 million to bring computer vision to construction management. Buildouts, a Tel Aviv and London-based startup that is using computer vision to modernize the construction management industry, announced that it has raised $16 million in total funding. The idea behind Buildouts is pretty straightforward. The team is using hard hat mounted 360 degree cameras to allow project managers at construction sites to get an overview of the state of a project and whether it remains on schedule. The company's software creates a digital twin of the construction site using the architectural plans and schedule as its basis and then uses computer vision to compare what the plans say to the reality that its tools are seeing. With this, Buildouts can immediately detect when there is a power outlet missing in a room or whether there is a sink that still needs to be installed in a kitchen, for example. Coming to the next news, Cloudfire launches Workers Unbound, the next evolution of its serverless platform. Cloudfare announced the private beta launch of Workers Unbound, the latest step in its effort to offer a serverless platform that can compete with the likes of AWS Lambda. The company first launched its Workers Edge computing platform in late 2017. Today, it has hundreds of thousands of developers who use it. And in the last quarter alone, more than 20,000 developers built applications based on the service according to the company. Cloudfare also uses workers to power many of its own services, but the first iteration of the platform had quite a few limitations. The idea behind Workers Unbound is to do away with most of those and turn it into a platform that can compete with the likes of AWS, Microsoft and Google. Coming to the world of robotics, Ford is all set to use Boston Dynamics dog-like robots to map their manufacturing facilities. Ford is going to employ two of Boston Dynamics Spot robots, which are four-leg dog-like walking robots that weigh roughly 70 lbs each to help them update the original engineering plans for one of the transmission manufacturing plants. There are a few benefits that Ford hopes to realize by employing the Spot robots. First, they should save a considerable amount of time as they replace a time-intensive process of setting up a tripod with a laser scanner at various points throughout the facility and spending a while at each location manually capturing the environment. The Spot dogs are roving and scanning continuously, providing a reduction of up to 50% in terms of actual time to complete the facility scan. Moving on, GitHub starts publishing a public roadmap. GitHub today announced that it will start publishing a public roadmap to help its users understand when it will ship new features across its various versions of the GitHub code repository and products like GitHub Actions, its mobile app and its security tools. Unsurprisingly then, the roadmap lives in a GitHub repo. Everything will be tagged based on the feature, the product it affects and its development stage. Over time, GitHub plans to attach more artifacts to every item, including screenshots, for example. Coming to the last news, alcohol delivery service Drizzly confirms data breach. Online alcohol delivery startup Drizzly has told customers that it was hit by a data breach. 
the hacker took customer email addresses date of birth passwords hashed using the stronger bcrypt algorithm and in some cases delivery address as many as 2.5 million drizzly accounts are believed to have been stolen the company said that no financial data was taken in the breach but a listing on a dark web marketplace from a well known seller of stolen data claims otherwise and with that we come to the end of this video don't forget to subscribe to analytics india magazine and follow this segment every saturday see you soon bye